I'm your review guide and today I'm going to be doing the best budget 4K TV for the Xbox Series X and PS5. And if at any point during the video you want to go check out this exact same TV, I put Amazon links down below. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the TV that I'm going to be talking about is the TCL 4 series and this is the extremely budget option if you want to do 4K gaming at 60 hertz for the Xbox Series X and PS5. The 43 inch TV comes in at around $260 and the 50 inch comes in at 300. So you're really balling on a budget with this TV. I'm going to start this off by saying that this TV does not have HDMI 2.1 because it is an extremely budget option and it's not an industry standard yet for all TVs, but if you want a game at 4K at 60Hz, it's still an improvement from the Xbox One and PS4. Now before you click off and think I'm absolutely insane for suggesting a TV that does not have HDMI 2.1, hear me out. Xbox Series X and the PS5 do not need HDMI 2.1 to function. HDMI 2.1 is only needed for it to reach the full potential 4K at 120Hz, but it can still do 4K at 60Hz. And as we've seen for the games for the Xbox Series X and PS5, they rarely reach 4K at 120Hz anyway, so I really don't see the point in dropping $1,000 on a TV that has HDMI 2.1 because you can still have a great time gaming on these consoles at 4K at 60 Hertz. Again, the TCL 4 series is a budget option. That being said, it does have a game mode that works. When you go into your input settings, you can turn on the game mode, which is going to decrease the TV processes that aren't needed for the gaming experience, which is going to decrease input lag and response time. After you turn it on, you really do see the difference because those background processes actually really get in the way of the signal from the controller to the console to the TV. So by turning these processes off, it decreases the response time and thus makes the gaming experience that much more enjoyable. I enjoy the 4K gaming experience with the low latency game mode. The TV does have nice colors and increased contrast because it does have HDR, which makes the brights brighter and the darks darker. The picture is very crisp and also there is little to no blooming. That being said, it is a VA panel so the viewing angles aren't the absolute best, but when I'm gaming, I'm usually just sitting in front of the TV anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But again, it has really nice colors and contrast for a 43 inch coming at 260 and a 50 inch coming at 300. So let's move into what ports this TV has. So it has three HDMI 2.0s, an HDMI ARC, one USB port, a place to attach a cable box or an antenna, an AV in, optical out, headphone jack, and ethernet. For me personally, this is enough ports for anything that I'd ever want to do, so I think TCL have their bases covered on the inputs. Now let's move into the sizes. So this TV comes in five. It has a 43 inch, a 50, 55, 65, and 75. Like I said before, the 43 comes at 260, the 50 at 300, and the 55 comes at 350, and you just keep going up in increments from there. Again, this is a very budget TV, but you get a lot for what you pay for. Also, the 50 inch that I have is compatible with the 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter vase amount. If you wanna go check out what the other sizes are compatible with it, it will be listed in the Amazon description. But that about does it for the best budget 4K TV for the Xbox Series X and PS5. It is 4K gaming at 60 hertz, has a good range of colors and contrast, has a game mode that's gonna cut down even more on the response time and input lag, and is just a really good quality for the price. I mean, seriously, $300 for a 50 inch is insane. Again, if you do wanna go check out this TCL 4 series, I put Amazon links down below. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button or that subscribe button, but I was your review guide and I'll see you in the next video.